So now we're looking at paired regions. So each region is paired with another region 300 miles away. And the reason why Azure does this is so that if one region is being updated, uh, then the other one is still available. Meaning that if you're running, if you're planning to make sure that you never have uh, downtime, you can uh, put your resources in that paired region uh, and then you're gonna have higher availability. Uh, so some Azure services rely on paired regions for disaster recovery. So uh, when you turn those services on, they're automatically going to launch in that paired region. Uh, one service uh, which would help you uh, leverage your paired region would be a service called Azure. Uh, well, it's a feature of storage, but it's called Azure Geo Redundant Storage. So it replicates your data to secondary region automatically, ensuring that the data is durable even in the event that the primary region is, isn't recoverable. And just to give you an example of a paired region, uh, so let's say we're talking about Canada. So with Canada, uh, you'd have uh, um, Canada Central, and then its paired region is Canada East. For North America, and when we say North America, we're really talking about the United States. Uh, it's East US region paired with the West US region. And then for Germany, you have Germany Central and Germ uh, Germany Northeast. So it gives you an idea how far away they are, 300 miles. That's uh, quite a distance, um, but there you go.